Arts was a very, very risky project. And when we were preparing it, uh, whenever I spoke to people about the fact that we were doing a musical that was all about cats and everybody in it would be playing a cat, people <coughs> sniggered and, and couldn't keep a straight face and everybody assumed that we were doing something that would be absolutely disastrous. And that's so often the history of musical theatre, that it seems like it's going to be a disaster and then something happens. I think in this instance, it was because we did a show that appealed to every generation that um, adults could bring their children, um, grandparents could bring their grandchildren, um, you could you could go see it on a date, and and it felt full of romance and and happiness. Um, a tired businessman could go and see it and had the delight of seeing lots of very beautiful girls wearing wearing silk leotards. Um, <laughs> so so um, it appealed r right across the spectrum. Uh, rather than just to a small group. So I think that that was the main reason that it took everybody by surprise. But of course, it's a wonderful score. I, I've now been involved in putting the show on more than 20 times and I hear something new in the score every time. I mean, it's thrilling. It's a wonderful bit of musical writing. Is wonderfully choreographed by Gillian Lynn, wonderful Gillian Lynn, who passed away last year. So Gillian can't be here this time. We were here together last time in in Vienna, uh, but she did the most wonderful, wonderful job on it. It was brilliantly designed by John Napier, who I'd worked with many times before and have worked with many times since, and he's just an absolute genius of a designer. And we had a wonderful cast in London to begin with, uh, who set a very, very high standard. But that seems to have been repeated wherever we do it in the world. So many people say, but. We didn't know we had people who could sing, act and dance, all three together, but they do exist. So that's been a, a great thrill.